This is Kai's Ninja Climber Mech from the March 2024 Ninjago set wave, and it comes with 4 minifigures and 623 pieces, which come together to create this giant four-armed climber mech that we'll be taking a look at in this video. This set retails for $70 in the US and £60 in the UK, which is a little bit steep for the Americans considering the piece count and what you get. This was a very fun set to put together, with lots of technic elements being used to give some really interesting shaping to the body, the lower legs and the back arms. I like the way the feet have come out, they're really big, attached to the legs with two ball joints, and they've got two toes at the front, plus a sticker with a little caution sign on it. Because of the ball joints, they've got plenty of articulation, so you can move them forwards and backwards, side to side, and you can even twist them around a little bit. The lower legs were definitely one of my favourite parts of this set to put together. They're made almost entirely out of Technic pieces, and they've got these big pistons on the back, which not only add friction to the feet to help this thing impose in, so you can actually get this to stand on one leg like so, but they also felt very reminiscent of old Bionicle Titan sets. So putting this thing together definitely felt like a trip down memory lane. For any Bionicle fans out there who also like Ninjago, I think you will really love this one. As for the upper legs, they are much chunkier, and they've got all these big red pieces used to really bolt them up. They're attached to the body with ratchet joints, so you can move them forwards and backwards and out to the side as well. Obviously the forwards and backwards motion really does help with getting this thing in walking poses, and even though there's no articulation in the knees, because of the way these legs are shaped and the excellent articulation in the feet, you can get this in some really good walking poses. The lower body has got a very interesting design, it's pretty much made entirely out of Technic and it angles down from the upper body in a really unique way. As for the upper body itself, this has also got quite a unique design. I love the way the chest kind of bulges out of the front, plus there's some sticker details up here to add some kind of flame details that really help fit this mech in for Kai. Above the cockpit there's a small head which is sat on a mixer joint so it can move around however you want, you can get some really nice expressions out of this head. And you can move that back on the ratchet joint to open up the cockpit and then you can simply slot Kai in, he just sits on the tile at the bottom there and there is space to actually sit him with his armour on which is really nice to see so he can be sat in there fully masked up and then you can just raise the head back up on top of him like so to close up the cockpit with Kai sat in there. And then we come to the arms. First of all, we've got these pretty generic arms at the front. They are quite simple. They've got big dark red shoulder armor, which does kind of tie in with the actual Kai minifigure with, with his dark red shoulder armor. So I really do like that. And they've also got some gold accents. Plus these white pieces at the front with some stickers on. And these shoulders are on the big ratchet joints. So they can move around however you want, side to side, forwards and backwards. There is really no limit to how these can move. So that is great to see. And then moving down the arms, we have got core joints used for the elbows, and they do have a little sticker on there, give, adding some more kind of piston detailing, which does tie in with the legs, so I really like the look of that. I think that adds a nice little touch to it all. And then right at the bottom, we've got some hands which are held on mixer joints. Once again, they've got a red colour scheme with some golden accents, and we've got three fingers on each hand. And then simply slotting into each hand, there are these two giant katanas. These use the big katana pieces that we have known for many, many years now. And then they've also got some smaller katanas as well to add a bit of extra detail. And they simply plug into each arm. So the mech can dual wield these katanas. And because of the articulation in the hands, you can swing those around really effectively. You can also kind of get, get the mech to cross them like so and swing them around however you like. But in any case, these swords are, yeah, really, really great. And definitely fit in with Kai, whose weapon of choice has always been the katana ever since the theme first began. And then as we come to the arms on the back, these are really interesting and definitely what sets this mech apart from other Ninjago mechs. They attach into the body on those big ratchet joints as well. So each of these arms can rotate around up and down and they can also move side to side as well. So you can bring them into a kind of resting position down like so, where they are fully closed back and drooped down so they're not really doing anything. Then you can of course pull them closer to the body and lift them up, ready for the mech to do some mountain climbing. The left arm is smaller and at the end of that they've got the big golden grappling hook and another the hand which is attached with another mixer joint just like the other hands it's also got three fingers and a sticky detail as well on the nexo knight shield you can also bring it all the way in over the shoulders like so you, see, you can kind of imagine that this is grabbing hold of something directly overhead or, or kind of crawling its way up a mountain so that is really nice to see and then as for the right arm it's pretty much identical all the way up until you get to the end now there is a hand on here that is attached with a mixer joint, it's got the three fingers as well and the same sticky detail, but this right arm does have a much bigger end to it. We've got these two golden arrows attached onto it, and then the grappling hook on this arm can actually be removed. You can pull the entire grappling hook off of the arm like so, and it just hangs with a piece of string like so, which is really cool. 
and because of that you can actually hang this grappling hook onto things and it is strong enough to support the weight of the entire mech so you can just hold the mech with this grappling hook like so and then you can kind of imagine it winching itself up the mountain and then you can reattach the grappling hook onto the arm like so and continue using it just like the left arm where you can bring it in above the shoulder and then you can use it to crawl its way up a mountain. In fact these hooks are another element of the set where that bionicle feel really comes into play. Recently the designer actually confirmed on Instagram that the hooks were heavily inspired by old hooks from Bionicle, like Matoro's from 2007. And I think it's so cool to see Bionicle living on in some way through another Lego theme based around six elemental warriors protecting their world. As well as using it to hang the mech, you can also attach it to objects, pull it really tight and use it as a zipline for the climbing ninja with their new weapons, which is another really fun play feature crammed into these additional arms. It's these rear arms that take this from being kind of an above average ninjago mech to being really something quite special. As for the minifigures, first of all we've got Climber Kai and Climber J. Climber J being exclusive to this set. I don't know if it's just me, but these do remind me a lot of the old Haunted suits from 2018 with, with all of the little straps and harnesses that they've got all over their suits. They are pretty similar with their suits being kind of mirrored in the way that they look, and they have got some good bat detailing as well underneath the armour piece. That armour piece is brand new though, each one is dual moulded with the ninja's secondary colour and with bits of gold throughout it. And they also have sword holders built into them, each one capable of holding two swords. And while they're not included in this set, these masks do fit with the old hair pieces so you can use them as half masks if you want to as well, just like the original Dragon's Rising masks. But they do come equipped with these awesome new grappling hook pieces, so all in all I really like these new ninja minifigures. Next up is Wildfire who does get a brand new outfit and a new hair piece. Her face is exactly the same as last year, and she's got some brown armour as well. I must say though that I'm not a huge fan of this new suit. I definitely think the older one was better, although I do like the back print with the smiling fireball. I'm not sure how I feel about the new hairpiece either, definitely prefer the original one. And I do think this new suit looks a lot better with the old hairpiece on. She also comes equipped with two orange power blast pieces as well, so you can launch those off at any enemies that try to attack her. And the final minifigure of the set is Jordana. We have seen her before, but this time she does come with this big jetpack, which has got two of the Wolf Warrior swords attached to it. That just attaches to her back on this clay piece, and the rest of the minifigure is exactly the same as we've seen before. But she does come with this awesome new Wolf Sword piece, which, which is dual molded in gunmetal grey with a transparent red back to it, which does look really, really nice. It's no secret that I'm not a big fan of huge ninja effects. In fact, this is the biggest one that I've ever bought, and it only has 623 pieces, but I've got to admit, this thing really surprised me in the best way possible. It intrigued me from set pictures, and after actually getting it built and taking a good look at everything it can do, I love it. It's a really solid and unique build with fantastic articulation and some good minifigures, but I think for the price, we could have done with one or two wolf mask warriors to assist your dark. This set is a little on the pricey side for the US, so if you aren't desperate to get it, I'd definitely recommend getting this on a discount. All in all though, Kai's Ninja Climber Mech is definitely one of the stronger Dragon's Rising sets released so far.